right, Chrome Domers, welcome back. I'm Old Bald Guy, and it's time for, well, all we have left. This is Jaws of the Lion with Gloomhaven Tainted Blood as we head towards the finale of this quest sequence. And if you were here last week or last episode, you'll know that uh, we cut that we cut the demolition is out of the group, and we are down to three three characters now. It doesn't. It helps us somewhat here, but not a ton. Um, so let's get in here and talk about what's going to happen. We have done this mission before, and we have sucked at it. It is super hard. And we are trying this one more time on hard difficulty at plus one level. And then we will drop it down. Uh, we'll try that. That doesn't seem likely, though. try this so in three player there are two tables that do not spawn imps unfortunately they are not two helpful tables if you're playing two player the center table in the in the middle room uh, doesn't spawn an imp so this table right here in two player doesn't spawn in three player this one doesn't spawn over here so our plan is to kill this guy kill this table set up jump into the room as hard as possible kill two tables on the first turn if possible um clean up the uh zealots clean up the imps as much as possible kill this table from back here and then quickly try to kill these two so if we can kill this one this one and this one and the two in the middle at the beginning then we're down to just one table and I think we can eventually push through there, kill that table, and clean, clean up. I think. It's still going to be super sketchy. Um, this scenario is not balanced compared to the rest of Gloomhaven and the rest of Jaws of the Lion. It's seriously not balanced. All right. So we're going with our standard start, new favorite, and fearsome efficiency. One, two, three away. That's perfect over here and you can see this table doesn't spawn doesn't have a spawning thing underneath it that's how you know it doesn't spawn uh over here i think we are going to do can we be here we can't so we can jump to here and do that with swift strength jump pop over here <laughs> my nose super itches today for whatever reason uh master influencer and probably stand fast I think we need stand fast. It's, that's fine. That's fine. Yep. Let's just get this guy down. Move five, attack five wounds. So that's a lot of damage. All right. Jumping over. Grab our shield and hit this guy right here. I could stun him. But, I mean, we have a lot more bad things to happen later with that. That was a good roll. I think it's fine that you're there. All right, new favorite. Jump, jump, jump. Let's go ahead and put that. Let's put that curse on him for sure. Maybe we stun. I think we go ahead and stun here. All right. And here, we put the master up. And then we do a stand fast on our buddy right here. Might as well go ahead and eat that sun. Nice. All right, and now what do we want? I think we brutalize, move three, brutalize. Yeah, I think that's probably all right. Uh, over here. We're looking for things that don't really help us a ton. Uh, do sickle for next round? I think maybe, maybe not. Uh, we don't want to use, maybe we use, I think we use chain for the bottom and I think we use knight for the top. And over here, 
Uh, none of these are going to do anything. Let's get us in position is really the most important thing, which means spirit hunger to move to there. And do we have anything that we care about at the top? Not particularly, no. Guess we do that. That's fine. All right. Move three. Take this guy out. Big time out. It's fine. And I guess we do this now that this guy is gone. And no need to move anywhere. You I'm going to move to here and try. Nobody to heal. Try to kill this thing. That is not a kill. All right, so. Let's go ahead and bless you. So the question is, do I go in and take this thing on? I I mean, I could ring a haste something in there. I don't think that's a good plan, though. Let's stand a potion back to that stand fast. So do we spend another turn? don't think I can open these doors. Well, let's try this. So, let's set up a heart seeker and a new f and a favorite. All right, this is kind of a test run. Probably she can't poison the things. All right, let's see here. Okay. So that's actually a thing I can do. Interesting. Didn't expect that. All right, so let's restart this round. Let's finish our turn, I guess, first. Um, and we'll make a plan that allows us to get into this room and try to kill these things. Well, I mean, we'll come back to that last one. It doesn't matter. Nothing spawns out of that last one. I'm kind of curious. It says... Destroy all alchemy tables in the center room to open the locked doors. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to jump. Is it an overwatch? I think it is overwatch. You're going to soaring shield prismatic sickle. That's going to give us all that we need to get us going. He's got that for range five, attack four. So now I think it's time. What's the most damage we can do here? So we do the lull to move people into the room, followed by, I mean, gifts, the only thing we can do we could last journey as well. Do we have a good top that we could... This, this is actually what we needed. Was uh, Withering Conviction. I think we can get people in range to do that. Alright, let's try. See if we can get, pull this off. Alright. So. We're going to start with you. Two, three. And then we're going to go over here. Do 
go one, two, three. Okay. And then we go over here. Oh, we screwed that up. Hold on. I have to do this over. Because what I need to do, he needs to be there. And then I can come in and make him attack that thing. Or I can put him there. Um, but this guy is probably the one that needs to be there first. And then he can hit this this thing right there. Okay. So, uh, skip. Restart. Pick the same cards. Because I need to be able to do the Wicked Scratch to give them the attack. Okay. So... We go favorite overwatch we go soaring shield sickle we go lull uh wicked scratch okay we're good everybody's happy all right you first boots to here okay and then you go What is your cards? It doesn't matter now. Pop into here. All right. Top. Boom. 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 Eat that fire. Because we're not going to use it. Actually, eat that sun because we're not going to use it. All right. Nice. Got the fire back instead. And let's go ahead and let you go again. Eat that fire. You put a wound on it. That's not super helpful. And yeah, let's go. Let's go hard. Stand fast. Go. Boom. 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 Dead. Alright, blew that one up. Uh, let's go ahead and bring back something before I forget and can't do it later. Good to go. Alright, now you're going to hit this. We might need the power potion. Let's go ahead and hit the power potion on it. Alright, extra shield. I like it. We need wind. Dark fire. All right, and movement wise, let's get on over to here. All right, what are these guys doing? Oh, they're not doing super great things. So this guy's gonna go here. This guy's gonna go here. Yeah, that's not good for you. All right. Axe, goggles, go. Got it. All right, that was our goal. Was two in the first turn. Go get our axe back. Now, do we just go ahead and kill the next one and just power through? Kill, 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 kill? Or do we try to get these zealots down while this spawns one at a time? Yeah, you're going to take some damage on this. Yeah, sure, the guy with shield didn't get hit very hard. That wasn't that bad. It wasn't great, but it wasn't that bad. All right, so... Yeah, I think we do take the zealots. I think we go zealot, 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 and then that. So, quick turnaround. Actually, I think we go Heart Seeker here, right? Move, heal, Heart Seeker, yeah. Here. Do we pop the wound down on everything? Maybe. I mean, it's not a bad plan. It's not a good plan, though. I don't know what we do with you. I think we disarm you. Hmm. Right, we'll 
we'll do this and we'll do that. Here. I can hit both of you guys with wounds and curses and poisons, which is actually pretty good. And then on the bottom. We need to move. I do not have that ability very well. Maybe we do the disarm. Disarm heal. I guess. Alright. Well, that's super bad. What do you use to make that? Fire. We have fire. That needs to go away. Alright. All right, so we're going to move to here. Don't do that. Do this. This. Unfortunately, you generated fire. It was only plus two range, so that's not that big a deal. Uh, yeah, put that shield up to go with what you got going on. Alright. I think we do need to stun this dude back here. Axe, go. Nice. Push you back that way. That was a mistake. Where do I go now? Guess I have to get across this water. Yep. Alright. I don't know what the imp's doing. That's not great. Putting poison down is not awesome. Helmet! 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 And a miss. Alright. So we're going to go with the disarm here. I will well use this, and we'll bring you over to here. Okay. Heal yourself. And heal yourself again. Alright. Yep. That. That. We're definitely going to need to heal the poison off of people, but we also need to kill things, so I think we do that, that, okay. Imps are doing nothing, they're doing their heal maneuver, which is super annoying, and the blood imp is doing attack 3, range 3 model. Okay. I maybe should have moved up there. Oh, you put a stun on him. Good. What do you got? Nothing. That's not great. Do I want to heal again while I'm here? I'm down from... Yeah, I might as well. Yeah, we don't care about that. This part sucks, though. Well, he was disarmed. That's good. 
and he was stunned. Can't quite get to the four, can you guys? Right, we're definitely going to do that. That. Do we want to move away first? I think we do. I think we move to here. Yeah. Alright, nice darkness back. Plus one, poison wound. I like it. It's fine. Not ideal, but it's fine. Uh, I think we do the move and heal. And... Oh, we do the brutalize. Yeah. Yank, our, yank it back from him. Over here. That's fine. Not ideal, but it's fine. Do we horn someone? Don't have that. We could strain wing chain. I think we need soaring shield. Get over here and deal with this guy. Yeah, sickle shield. That looks good. Over here. Oh, I love that card so much, but I have so many more better things I need to be doing here. One of which is another possessed by fate, maybe. Actually, can I get there? One. Two, three. One, two, three. Do I have any kind of boots? I have boots of speed. That's not going to do me any good whatsoever. Ba, 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 ba. I don't have a jump. I need to move to here first. I could move four and heal him. Heal you. Which I kind of need to do. Shit. Alright, what do we do here? This is tough. I think I do this and this and let that kill this guy over here. I think that's what we have to do. Alright. 19. That's super fast. Okay. Alright. We're going to do this on... You're healing. You're healing. You're doing bad, mean, target 2 curse stuff on a move 1, which isn't super impressive. Uh... I think you keep going here, right? Okay. That is what a miss looks like, my friends. Fire, wind, dark. Cards wise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's why I thought I want soaring wind back though, so we're not gonna do anything yet. Where do we need to go? Well this guy only has a range of four. So we're going to stay right frickin' here. What's this guy doing? Attack 5, Curse, Wound, Jump. It's not going to go anywhere, though. I guess we stay over here. They kind of have it under control. That part sucked. That part sucked a lot. Alright. Brutalize this guy. Hold on. Let's bring a strength. Brutalize this guy. Rid of a curse, that's good. Now we're gonna move right up to here. Is that where I want to be? One, two, three, four. 
Okay. And once you pop that healing potion out that you can, card wise, I believe you one, two, three, four, five. No, you are short as well. I don't know what I want back yet, though. I think we just wait. Yeah, that's you'll suck a little bit. And you found one of your curses. Good job. Alright. Time to kill this thing. That. Kill him! Six is good. Do we shoot you, or do we kill this guy? I think we kill this guy, right? No. We shoot this guy like that. Go. Nice. Now we don't need to push him. Yep, we knew that was going to happen. Okay. Uh, you repeat shot this guy. And then move and loose your favorite. Ooh, can't do that because that guy's there. We don't have boots. What are you going to be able to do? Honestly, I think, I think we have to push the tables, right? Push the tables and then deal with everything else later? That feels like the right answer, but man, this is hard to figure out. All right, let's push the tables. You can move four to here and hit three things. That seems like a good plan. Possessed by fate, spirit hunger, which means you have to do that to jump into his spot after you shoot him. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, I should have pushed him. I could have moved there and done more damage, but that's okay. Uh, stamina, we want that card back. Okay. That is, guy is, is dead, but is not dead enough for me. So... Already poor, this guy's already that's already happened. I think I go with the cloak here, right? And now card wise you're down to three, so you need a new card, and it will obviously be well, I don't know what it'll be. Probably repeat shot. Okay. Healing, uh, strength in a muddle is fine. That guy died. That sucked. That did two. I cannot take that. I need to keep withering conviction. Which means gift of the void has to go. What a nice you missed on him. All right. So what do we do? Definitely moving four, which gets us to here. Yes. Get rid of all that stuff. Followed by this. 
here, here, here. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. I don't think we want the table down right now. Yep. So I think we do doors, right? We go here. Why don't you kill and move? All right, what can you do? You can do Soaring Shield for a jump three. And you're going to do Burn Away the Dark to stun everyone in this room. And then... You are going to go after that. It's kind of going to suck a little bit. But I don't I have to get my axe first. But that's going to have to be fine. And then over here. You, I think we want to focus this one down, then over here, and then over there. Because those are the last three. And I also really want to see if it's actually going to open, because there's still a table here. And to see if if I kill this one, will that open or not. So that means... Do you do the stun curse on people? No, he's going to wound them, so that's not going to work. I could do the conviction. I wanted the conviction to kill the tables, is what I wanted. So I keep that. I think I use this to move to here. And then double heal. Okay. It's a lot of damage coming out, guys. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right. Stun, wound, everyone in the room, basically. Except you did not kill the table, buddy. It's a bit of an issue that you did not kill the table. my spot I need you to be on top of my thing because I can't get to it because it's a jump it's not a jump all right hold on I was thinking don't stand on his axe because he's gonna need to get on it to get the, to pick it up but then I didn't realize he couldn't get that far that's a problem all right same thing Move Heartseeker, Soaring Shield, Burn Away the Dark, uh, Cure, close, got it. Alright. And actually, I don't think we actually care, because you're stunned and you're not. How are you not stunned? You're not stunned. So that's fine, we're going to deal with that. Oh, you're not stunned because I haven't done this yet, that's why. The fact that he missed the table is absolutely disgustingly funny. Just disgustingly funny. And not in a good way. Alright. Shoot this guy. Pick up that axe. And now we're good. Bunch of people take damages. That one shoots people. Zealots are almost dead. Alright. 
Heal 2 from where I am is not ideal. So we will instead move. I want to move this away, which is not going to be good enough. I'm going to have to do that anyways. It's just I have to get into these positions. Okay. Yep. Kind of knew that was coming. All right. Final two cards there, here. I think we do that. Do we kill? I think we kill it now, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and kill it. Okay. Blood imps are in bad shape for me, but... That's fine. All right, red guard. All right, you got it. So we have a non-spawning table. We have a spawning table and a zealot, and we have table, table with nobody in the rooms. So we're gonna do this, move as far as poss humanly possible away here. We're gonna go this way. Yep. Okay, go ahead and put up the shield. All right, here. This is good, right? Attack six, range three. The tar to target is within range two, so I have to be here. Okay. This, here, here. Uh, let's see you go first. Nice. Do we want this guy? Or do we want that on the table? I think we want that on the tables, right? This guy is going to die on his own eventually. We go here. Kind of wish I could hit this table, but I can't. I can't hit this table. We go here. Okay. All right. And what do you have on a ring? We have nothing. Okay. What are you going to do with this? I think you're going to move. You got have to move, right? Yeah, we have to move. We have to do this. With that, can we shoot the table? No. Can we shoot this table? No. Can we kill this guy? Yes. Uh, this is a problem, though. Because of that. I think we're gonna... I think, I think he's dead right here. I think that was a problem. die. Those two guys are dead now. We have to get these tables down. So you are dead. So all we can do is the jump, shoot, and die. Yeah, I guess that's what has to happen because I need to do other things here. You need to move far. One, two, three, four to here. And then probably I don't have time to heal. I need to kill things. That's the problem. 
So I had to do that, right? All right. I think I jumped to here. Do this. There. That. That's all I can do. It's freaking miss! Come on, man! Oh. Go tables, go tables, go tables. Alright, I think we can kill that table. Oh, man! <sighs> yeah, this is over. I don't know how we do this. Mish... Do we just go two man? Is it possible with two? With you leave the middle table, kill the front, kill the back, kill the extra guys? Like the unlimited spawning and stuff, just. I. I don't know how you do this thing. Alright, we're gonna try it again on normal difficulty in the next episode. the table. What do we have left? Do we have, we have Wicked Scratch left? Wicked Scratch bottom is not good. I'm going to go ahead and do it because it's a card. And we can make that happen. Not that one. All right, horns and probably soaring shield to get back out here. Uh, over here. We do those two because we can, whatever that is. Fine. We've lost this. There's no way around it. Man, I just don't know what you do with the spawning. Right, that's dealt with finally. Like, how do you even get back to this one? All right, we're going to wrap it up. 
I don't think anybody wants to watch me play this episode, this mission, like 20 times to try to see if I can get through it. Alright. So we have two options. Do we drop it down to, like, minus one difficulty and blow through it and just get past it? Or do we try this with two people and see if we can leave the center table up, control the room, and then kill the other, the, the, and then and do it better that, like, do, like, the, use the hatchet's amazing DPS and the vo and the Red Guard's um, uh, tanking and try to do it that way. Uh, let me know your opinions on it, and we'll see which, we go, which way we go with it in the next episode. Till then, OBG out.